back to the same old spot as yesterday's episode. Um, I had an idea for today's episode, but something came up. And I feel like, since I like want to treat part of this vlog as like, or I want to be open with you guys, I feel like this is where I want to address what, what I'm feeling today. So, today's therapy session type of day. Um, I'm sorry that these last few have been therapy sessiony. Tomorrow I'll try really hard not to make it so therapy sessiony. But all right. Well, um, this week has been, well, like personally, has been kind of a rough week, um, and I've been trying not to portray that here on the vlogs as much of like how rough it's been, but. Uh, if you didn't know, I'm, I'm, I'm shooting a documentary about my grandmother, my grandmother's life, and how amazing it's been. She's 90, and what she remembers, and what she, what, what we talked about in that documentary, and we're still editing it, we're close to the end of working on it, and Monday she went into the hospital, which as, at any age is is scary especially as a 90 year old and she was there for a few days and my mom spent some nights with her and they were talking about they were talking about end of life and And that's hard to talk about. Even... Um, and I, my, my, obviously my grandmother doesn't watch YouTube, but I'm making this for you, Gramby. That's what we call her, we call her Gramby. Um, and... And... There's, there's just, we were talking about it at dinner tonight, and one of the things I said was, you can't, you can't talk about someone as if they were dead, if they're still alive. Like, you can't grief something that hasn't happened yet. You can't mourn a person who isn't dead yet. And, you know, another thing to, along, it's like, the funerals are for the living, and, She's always been very happy. Um, I don't want to give away a lot of a lot of the documentary because I'll probably put it up on this channel. But she she survived cancer three times. Um, each time they gave her six months to live, and the last one she had was 20 years ago. That's the last time they, they told her she has six months to live. So she's a very strong woman, very strong woman, and she's 90 now. The other day, what I've heard, she got like poked and sticked to get blood, and it, this just doesn't, you know, as a 90 year old, that's your skin isn't like. <sighs> so, I was really struggling today because I was talking to family about this today. I was really struggling picking up the camera and vlogging, um, I, and I had this idea for a vlog, and the second I started talking to some family, that went out the window. Um, and I didn't want today's vlog to be one of these. I really wanted it to be like exciting and like action packed with some talking in it, but like my normal vlog. But this has just been like weighing down on me. And today, now talking about it more in, de in depth with my mom, it, it really hit home. It really. <sighs> and I hope you can like see in me that like I'm not trying to act at all. Like this is me processing things I it's been a rough week for my family and so I I'm trying to like compartmentalize in my head like family and work and sometimes those lines blur and it's hard to to to, to break that apart and that I feel like first of all, I feel really fortunate that I got I got to know all my grandparents. Um, so not for long, but I got to know all my grandparents, and that 
I got to learn from them. I got to spend time with them. I got to spend a lot of time with my grandmother, who we call Gramby. So, for the duration of this video, I'll call her Gramby. Um, and one thing that like is great is like she majored in music. I mean, obviously a little bit different than like nowadays, but she majored in music, and I get to talk music to her. I talk shop, which is great. Um, we talk music theory and just fun things like that. And and one thing we like to talk about is how how different it's changed throughout the years, and that definitely comes out in the documentary. Um, and I feel like, as a filmmaker, as a creator, I'm just so fortunate that I get to like make, like do this project with her and and get a, make a documentary about her life. And she she means really nothing to you guys, but she's the world to me. And I feel like making projects like that just makes you want to like, even if it's you're not getting paid for it and you're putting your own money and you're losing money, I just feel that. I work at it really hard to make it the best thing possible and now that this week's happened I I'm trying to get the project done as fast as possible cuz I really want her to see it. I really want her to see the finished product and <sighs> Today's been a really rough day. Um but this this has helped a little bit, and Granby has been a fighter, or she she is a fighter. She hasn't. She Granby is a fighter. Granby is she's the strongest, one of the strongest people I know, and she I I I feel like my mom said this today, and like during Thanksgiving. All my cousins, like from Chicago, coming down. We're gonna go down to New Jersey with my cousins down there, and we're all gonna be with her. And my mom said, you know, maybe she might only last another week, or she might surprise us all and last another 20 years. But I really. Death's, death's hard to put your mind around and grasp and I can't imagine what it would be like without her so as I'm talking I'm trying to think about everything I've been with her through and everything she's seen me grow and she's seen me become a, an adult and have a career and I <sighs> It's been a rough week and I just can't wait for this week to end to start new. Um I love you, Grammy.